Hello, welcome to my channel. Another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg, and today I'm doing an announcement for a new reading project. People familiar with my channel will have known that I've been doing a long series of live stream videos where I have been reading all the Holly Gibney books by Stephen King with a bunch of co-hosts. And each month we read a new book. Well, that project is finished, but I enjoyed that project so much. I wanted it to continue, but I did not necessarily want to continue with just Stephen King books. So I came up with this idea to read 70s horror novels. So what I did is I gathered some of my friends from YouTube and said, let's start this project. And we have a bunch of people in this group, and we are going to be reading some 70s horror novels, one per month, beginning in July. And um, we're going to have a live stream at the end of the month. I can't tell you necessarily which day of the month it's going to be or what time it's going to be, because with all the guests, we have covered every time zone in the United States, plus the United Kingdom and South Africa. So there's going to be a little bit of a uncertainty when the actual event will happen each month. But to all these people, I delivered a list of um, 70s horror classics. I scoured the internet, looked up best horror novels of the 70s, put all these lists together, and sent it off to them and say, as a guest host, pick a book you want to read. So I got all the results back, and I put them in order. We're going to be reading the books roughly in publication order. So now all I have to do is tell you the co-hosts and tell you the books that we are going to be reading. And the co-hosts are Alan at Big Hard Books and Classics, Bad is Rad 2, Cliff's Dark Gems, Fiber Artsy, MJ at We're Reading This Life, Nim at The Secret of Nim, Ollie, Criminali, and Randy Ray, The Literate Texan. Included in the description of this video, I will include all the books that I found on the internet. So you can judge us on the books that we picked. July will be Burnt Offerings by Robert Morasco, originally published 1973. This was chosen by Cliff's Dark Gems. It is the story of a couple living in a small Brooklyn apartment. It's going to be a stifling summer and they are offered an escape, an offer too good to refuse. They can get an entire mansion to themselves in upstate New York for only $900 for the summer. I gather that was a good deal even back then. There's just one catch. There is an elderly woman who lives in the house and they will be responsible for preparing her meals. As they get there, it's kind of weird. This woman doesn't come out of her quarters and strange things, it apparently, are going on. August will be Gwen in Green by Hugh Zachary, originally published in 1974, chosen by reading this life. Gwen and George have gotten an insurance settlement, and they fulfill their dreams of buying their own little island, a secluded private paradise surrounded by lush green landscape of plants. But what the real estate man didn't tell them is that a few years ago there was a bit of a tragedy, um, holding some old secrets that go back a few centuries. And George notices some strange changes in his wife. 
She used to be reserved and demure, but now she suddenly become passionate and insatiable. And some people are mysteriously beginning to disappear. September, The Manitou by Graham Masterton, originally published in 1975, chosen by Criminali. Harry Erskine is a phony psychic and a con man living in New York City. He never really believed in the occult that he pitches to bilk old ladies out of their money until he meets a woman named Karen who has a growth on the back of her neck. This growth is a human fetus because they, they're living in New York City. And back before there was a city and there was the Dutch and they, the Dutch traders treated the Native American Indians very poorly. And one of the powerful, malevolent shamans of this Indian tribe vows revenge against the Dutch in the future. October is Salem's Lot by Stephen King, originally published in 1975, chosen by Bad is Rad. Two, this is the story of an author going to the town of Jerusalem's Lot. He wants to uh, cast out some of his own personal demons and hope to get inspiration for writing a new book. However, in this small town in Maine, there is a newcomer. And you kind of know this newcomer is not going to be a good man. November, All Heads Turn When the Hunt Goes By by John Ferris, originally published 1977, chosen by Fiber Artsy. There is a distinguished military family in Virginia. Their son is first in his class at the military academy, and he is going to be getting married. But behind this family, there are dark secrets. It's not just the antebellum magnolia and honeysuckle veneer. They have deeper secrets that go back to a supernatural sorcery and um, the dark African jungles. December will be Our Lady of Darkness by Fritz Leiber, originally published in 1977, chosen by Big Hard Books and Classics. There is a horror writer in San Francisco. He likes to he study his beloved city with binoculars. And one day he sees a mysterious figure on one of the San Francisco hills, waving back at him. And he learns of a century old curse in the city that may have destroyed fellow authors like Clark Ashton Smith and Jack London. January will be The House Next Door by Anne Rivers Siddons, originally published in 1978, chosen by Randy Ray, the literate Texan. There is a 30-something couple who live in a charming and peaceful suburb of Atlanta, Georgia. Life is good there. Next to them is a wooded lot and they always thought it would be undeveloped. But then a house is built there, and anyone who moves into this house, all the goodness in their life seems to go away. Surely this house can't be haunted. And that are the books that we are going to be reading for the 70s horror novel project. Not every co-host is going to be able to make every live stream or even read every book. And that's okay. We've got 
a large group of people. So there will be some discussion every month. I hope viewers will watch live as we discuss the book. I also have a Discord channel where you can go and make comments about the books that we are reading and join in the discussion that way. I hope to see some of you on these live streams and on my Discord in the following months as we enjoy 70s horror novels. Thank you for watching and keep on reading.